Well now, it's been three months since last I posted a video, and it's good to be back to come back with another uh, fake martial arts video. Okay, so in a previous video that I did about Jake Mace, in the comments section I was directed to Adam Misner. Because uh, this said person said that Jake Mace didn't know what he was talking about, and I was directed to this guy. Touch. Just one gram of pressure. I didn't know who he was, so when I checked him out, and then uh, I realized this is some hot garbage. Crushes me. I use not light, I use heavy. And the direct words of this guy was saying, uh, he, was re he was referring him to me so that I could see his teachings on internal uh, energy or how to use internal martial arts or whatever the case is. Now, I'm gonna say this straight. If you believe in things like chakras or internal energy like chi or whatever well i'm just gonna say science because then dragon ball z would be real and then i would be all up in that shit so anyway let's go to the first video that i found on how to defend mma takedowns some punches or whatever okay so let's be clear on the first defense here on the takedown the repulsive monkey all right okay when somebody is going to actually shoot in for that takedown moving your leg back is a good idea all right but now let's be honest if, got, if somebody knows they're wrestling all right being able to keep your hips low is like fundamental Okay, if their wrestling is really, really bad, you can be more upright and play away with it. But, how it was demonstrated in this video particularly, this guy does not know how to wrestle. He's, he, him shooting in for single legs are terrible, all right? So, I mean, just moving the leg and snapping down away is going to be super easy to do. But the main problem is nobody's just going to collapse like that when being pushed down. They've got feet to base out with. I know with um, white belts that start with jujitsu, I mean, standing up and wrestling with them, and you know, I let them shoot in for the takedown because I mean, it's just so easy to step away and snap them down, push them away. All right. The more experienced they are, you know, now hips are low, and you know, when they know how to fake for a shot. Not committing fully to the defense, but moving that leg away, blocking them with the arm. And of course, you know, we can sprawl. Alright, so if they do commit from this position, sprawling is easy. Okay, cool. Because it's correct, not because it's light. If this were to work, alright, pushing them down, they would base out with a hand or two. They wouldn't fully collapse. Okay, so let's talk about the second part here where they actually grab the leg. The title of the video is how to defend MMA takedowns. So in that title, we can assume that, you know, to defend MMA takedowns, the person that we're fighting against or that we're using his techniques on have trained in MMA. Clearly the, the Uke has not trained in MMA or hasn't trained in wrestling. As shown in the video, the foot placement is so bad and incorrect, all right? Facing down, my posture is not correct. My grips are not correct, all right? Then that means a few things. We can attack the the the, the, the posture and, and the grips quite easily, all right? And thus, we can rip the leg away and, and drop them down, all right? Also, because your head's on the outside, guillotine choke is right there. So, if we're assuming that the person we are 
training these takedown defenses for, have trained in MMA, we can assume that their wrestling would be a bit better than that, right? Otherwise, it's just somebody who has maybe played some rugby in high school and they weren't just, they weren't really good at it and they kind of know how to tackle. So, let's just go over the few things. Just ripping the leg back is not going to make me drop, okay? Because I've got feet. Ripping this away just means I can step further. Oh, look. I can adjust. But if we are going for a proper single leg and we shoot head, heads on the inside. Let me do it the other side. We're going for the front leg. We shoot in. Head on the inside. We address the grips here properly. My posture, all right? My back is straight. Sort of like how I'm doing a deadlift. My, my knees, my legs are pinching the leg. This is tight. He's got nowhere to go. All right, now it's just drive the hip, turn the corner, and he's down. We are not going for the front leg like so. All right, with poor posture, poor grips, and a poor base. There's no wonder the takedown's not gonna work. All right. Because it's correct, not because it's light. But the main issue is, even if we have this, and somebody just rips their leg back, we're not gonna just stumble. If somebody's gonna rip their leg back, there's another step. All right. There's a step. I've got two feet. I can base myself out. And because I can base myself out, I can go for another attack. So let's be honest about this. This guy has clearly never wrestled, all right? There's not a one answer for everything. And the answer is never this simple. If it is, then, I mean, your opponent, you can just toy with them. They don't understand how, how to fight. But if somebody used this type of defense, the first one you can get away with, if the guy doesn't know how to wrestle, they're shooting from a distance, and they're very predictable. I mean, obviously, you can move out the way and you can toy with them. But with the second defense, really now, th this, if the guy knows how to wrestle, this will never work. The single leg will not be performed like that and it's gonna be near impossible to just rip out your leg. Even if you turn the corner and you step out like that, that person can still follow. And now you're set up for a multitude of different attacks. A double, depending on how square your stance is in relation to your opponent. An ankle pick. They might even just follow through with the single leg again. But the main thing is, they're not just going to collapse when you pull your leg like that. They are going to base out. And when they base out, they are going to posture up. So once again, just ripping your leg out and pushing him down like that. You're not gonna get that right with somebody who is good at wrestling and has trained those MMA takedowns properly. Because it's correct, not because it's light. So we have come to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe, you know, the junk that all the YouTubers ask for. And if you have any more recommendations on fake martial artists, let me know in the comment section down below. I do have recommendations from other videos that I still need to cover. Uh, so my uploads are going to be all over the place for the next while. Uh, things have just been too crazy as of late and I'm going to do my best to get through all of them. Alright, but until then, take care and look after yourselves. Cheers.